All right, what's up, YouTube? Episode 14, we're back. And collect our one ups off the rip. <clears throat> the mouse being on screen. I gotta get my. Not, not even ready. Look at my arm rested on the back of the chair. What the fuck? New one back there. Oh, that's probably the final level. Okay. We were all the way up in the engine room? I want to say that's what it is. <coughs> oh, there's the hungry Luma. Uh, yeah, we do it after the dome. That's right. Struggling to remember everything right now. It's been like a week since I played this. Right, we did that, we did that. Next orbit is this. Oh, toy time. Okay. Super fun theme, just shitty power up. Yes. I think I just jumped off immediately. Okay, nope, we're good. Was this really necessary? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it was necessary for this to be part of the level. Then we have to deal with these nuts and bolts. I don't know what that one did. There's one somewhere around here. Did, no. I don't know what this does. I think it just stops this. Yeah. Kind of lame. Anything up here? Oh, okay. Anything back there? Oh. <laughs> I mean, why not? I guess I'm already here. Realized those walls make the B Mario Paro less impressive. Not only offers flight, it did offer the clinging to the honeycombs. It's like, oh, we can use it as a gimmick for you know climbing up walls and shit. No, you just have this, you know, sticky gravity wall or whatever the fuck. Man. God damn it, box, honestly. Uh, 
try to go as a... I don't even know. <coughs> Dollars to donuts and win the wrong way though, probably. I guess this is just a secret. This is why the spring sucks. Okay. The movement in general is fine, but like, I don't want to lean on the... Oh, okay, it doesn't do shit. The movement in general is fine. The movement in, like, getting precise movement is horrible. I think I actually do need the thing. For one split second, I thought, you know what, that's fine. You. I can't even get rid of this thing, can I? No. It's just fucking there. Because there is a minimum distance you have to move with it. Like there, I almost fell off that that box. Cause I couldn't do a shorter hop. I have to hop a certain distance when you're, when you're using this power up. That sucks. Like, you can either hop in place or hop a distance. What does this pipe do? Two random bats that are there. I don't think I need this for this part. Hmm? 
try something. one of those things where you wonder, did they leave that there on purpose? Like, did they make the hair of the mecha? Uh, just big enough for you to stand on it and, like, double jump up on top. And there's so many things like that in video games, which is, like, it's such a weird coincidence. Like, it just so happens to work out. I saw an article earlier. I didn't read it, but I saw it. It was like... The Valorant... The Valorant devs say that they don't think about lineups when they're making maps. It's like, are you sure? There's obviously some where it's like, yeah, okay, obviously, right? Like, you know. And people make a lineup using a fucking cloud in the sky, right? You know, stand here in this corner, then aim your crosshair at this corner of a cloud. It's like, okay, fine, right? There's obviously, you know. That can absolutely be completely intentional. Then there's shit like Killjoy turret jumps. Like there's I think a total of 14 of them on split. And it's like there's a texture to line up the turret for all of them. And like half of them, if not you know, like 80, 85% of them are like blatantly obvious. Well, let me see. I just want to see if I have enough for, uh, are they over here? There's a good number of them, like, the one to get on top of the box on B side, in the corner, next to B main. Like, there's literally a notch in the platform that you just line the center of the turret up with. Like, there's literally a fucking notch. Then there's the the box that people plant behind to plant default on B. You can jump on that from both sides by lining up the turret with the with the seam of like the two tiles of like the of the wall of the of the I guess you call it a baseboard of that wall. On both sides, right? The notches are both equidistant on each side. 
And it's the same thing with the box in mid to get over sage walls if they put a sage wall down there. The one in B main. From the left, you jump on it with putting the center of the turret aligned with like the crease of like the the door frame beam or whatever the fuck. And on the right of it is what the fuck is on the right of it? I think it might be another seam in the wall, honestly. You know, it's like, there's no fucking way all of these just so happen to, you know, all these seams in the wall, or like the notch in the floor, just so happen to line up with where you need to put the turret. I'm sorry, but there's just no fucking way. And there's another seam in the wall for the box in B Heaven that you can't get on from one side now. We used to be able to get on from both sides. box on a ramp that you can't get on from the ramp side, you can only get on it from the heaven side. There's literally like a warning pattern in the ground, and you just align the turret with like the third rectangle of the warning pattern on the floor. Like, are you, like, are you serious? You don't think about Linus my fucking ass. There's no fucking way that all these just happen to line up with like a specific marking on the floor or a notch in the wall that just happen to be placed randomly, quote unquote, in the exact spot that you need to line up. Top after I'm done with it. Damn it. Well, here we go. Shoddy platforming. My favorite. Oh, never mind, I have to put the candles, that's probably what it is. 
Yeah, there we go. for the star. <coughs> mm. Do we actually... Do okay. Do we really... Okay. Anyways. Do we really need the, uh, the spring for this? Pardon me, friend. Can I stand on top of you? Okay, no. Stay on top of you now. Is it even possible to stay on this? No. <laughs> okay. I do appreciate they just kicked me off the wall of the jar after it was like, this fucker's not moving. He's supposed to be falling. I need 50. Fifty biddies for this for this fat boy. For this chonkster. Any any biddies. I want those ones. Okay. So much for that, I guess. Uh, this is maybe worse than last time. Now it's about even. Just enough. Yeah. 
Where is this one? Down there. There's not one over here. Okay. here in the opposite corner? Really? Can't long jump over the edge here? one jump, but nope. Apparently gravity has corners. Not even really a boss. Oh no, well. Okay, good snipe. Good snipe. Took real skill. Am I lose? Oh, 
find them eventually. Where are you? There you are. Supposed to be faster than the green shell or something. Mm. Oh no, it does look hot. Okay. Let's keep that gimmick. Let's go. There's the fucking. I have no talent. <coughs> Way to kill the boss. No. Oh. Well. Oh. the hit for him. That little fucking whatever this thing is. Okay. Now I hit myself. Why are you hitting yourself? Decides whether or not it wants to swim or not. I shake the hell out of the Wii remote. It's kind of 50 50 whether or not it actually does the spinny thing or not. Underwater, at least. The spinny thing works every time, but swimming is a whole different ballgame. Speaking of whole different things, we're going to continue this in a whole different episode. I'll see you there, YouTube. Bye-bye.